Hey guys, just a quick tutorial on how to set up an auto fire macro for the foul on COD Warzone. Uh, this is really easy to do. Um, obviously, the only real requirement is to have a Logitech mouse and the Logitech G Hub software. Uh, let's get into this. It is really nice and simple. So, if you open up your Logitech G Hub, which I have open here right now, um, best thing to do is click straight into your mouse. And then on the left side where it says assignments, click into there. And then you want to click into macros. Now I've already got the foul uh, macro set up here but let me show you how to make this because it is so simple. So just click the button at the top here which says create new macro. Name this macro, I will just call it FAL. Uh, you want to select repeat while holding here. Okay so now this window will pop up so what you want to do keep it on use standard delays in the top right change it to 50 milliseconds if it isn't already this is quite crucial because that is actually the rate in which it clicks or how fast you're basically shooting now i don't actually think you can drop it much below this um, there is actually a soft cap within the game meaning that even if you were to have it at one millisecond um, it would only ever fire a certain speed so it's best to just keep it to something standard like 50. You could perhaps you know, experiment with going a little bit lower or maybe even a little bit higher if perhaps this is shooting a bit too fast for you. So let's uh, get into the actual macro. So of course, click on use standard delays, keep it to a low milliseconds like 50. And then over on the left here where it says start now, if you click onto this and then go to record keystrokes, all you literally need to do once clicking this is just click once like so. And then you want to hit stop recording now it's crucial that all you have done here is click once so you can see here the symbol shows the mouse click going down once and then coming back up you just need to literally do that one time that is all you need to do if there's anything else popping up here and um, then you've not done it right so just erase it and try it again one click that is all you need to do and then simply just press save so here we are on the assignment screen. Now I've got the G502 and I've got a really convenient button that I can program right here, which is actually right next to the standard left click, um, which I've got mine set up to. So once, once you're on this page, you can obviously assign it to any of your G buttons, no problem at all. Just on the left hand side, drag the macro straight into the slot you'd like it. And it is as simple as that. It's all set up and it's ready to go. So what I'll do now is I'll jump into a bit of gameplay just to show you me using this first hand. Uh, hopefully you'll see exactly what I mean, but I, I assure you I've been trying this out and it's been an absolute beast in Warzone and in regular multiplayer. Have a go, let me know that it worked out okay and if you have any questions, drop me a comment. Capture and defender. 